Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with the word for today. And the word for today is strong. Wake up, become strong in the Lord. Worship God, live pure before him, free ourselves from bondage, be strong in the grace that is found in Jesus. Strongly and boldly bring good news. Strongly and boldly proclaim peace. Strongly and boldly bring glad tidings of good things. Strongly and boldly preach that Jesus is the King. Thank you, Lord, for strongly showing your power to all so that all will see you. Act wisely, grasshopper. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. See what has not been told, understand what has not been heard, by boldly coming before the throne of grace, by strongly going to the holy ground, by receiving the strength, the wisdom, the strategy, the battle plan for the battleground. I can do all things through Jesus who strengthens me. You can do all things through Jesus who strengthens you. Receive the strength that God makes available. Turn to the Lord with all of our hearts. Remove all our idols. Give ourselves fully to him. Serve him only. Now, we need to be careful what we ask for, and we want to pray and obey. Paul Yonggi Cho, the pastor of the largest church in the world, gets asked what his strategy for building the largest church in the world is. His answer is really funny. He says, I pray and I obey. And that's his answer. See, it takes great strength to make prayer a priority. It takes even greater strength to obey what God gives us in prayer. Now, the apostles became men of great strength. They were weak and in fear. They were hiding in an upper room. They didn't know what to do. And the power of God, the Holy Ghost, came upon them, turned them into another man, strong men, strong in faith. They, they put them in prison, an angel came and let them out, and told them to go and tell people everything about this new life in Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit come upon you. Let the Holy Spirit turn you into another man, and go and tell people everything about this new life in Jesus. Strongly proclaim that through Jesus, all people can change their thinking. All people can change their hearts. All people can change their lives. All people can have their sins forgiven. Now the key to being strong, to being strong in the Lord, is the hear and obey. Got to hear, but we have to obey. To obey God, to do what he says to do, and not what man says to do. There's going to be people telling you to do things that God hasn't told you to do. There's going to be people telling you not to do the things that God has told you to do. Let us be strong. Let us be in the strength of the Lord. Let us go forth and do what he's told us to do in strength, in power, in victory. I find it really interesting that the Bible says today that the apostles healed all who came to them. Now, I know that Jesus did, but that's the first time I've really noticed that the apostles healed all. We have the same power, the same strength, the same Holy Spirit that they had. By the, by the way, uh, the only way to gain strength naturally is to lift weight consistently and increase the amount of weight that you lift continually. So I want to challenge you today. Uh, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the power of his might. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God gives you the strength you need. Make strong today. Pray and obey. The word for today is strong. God bless. Check in tomorrow.